I'm Chef Lala and I'm going to teach you how to cook lentils and chicken stock and roasted garlic. Every Wednesday I have a play date with my friend Katie and her two sons and my son Maddox. One thing we agree as as mommies is we want foods that are packed with nutrients but we don't want to spend all day in the kitchen because we want to play too. So this is one of our go-to recipes. We cook some lentils in chicken stock. Now I make my chicken stock with chicken, celery, carrots and onions. It's packed with nutrients because it's all the boiled vegetables and all that chicken. So when it starts drying out, I've been cooking these for about 40 minutes. So we start adding a little bit more stock. Another thing that we like to do that Katie taught me was uh, she roasts her garlic in a little bit of uh, olive oil, in foil, in her toaster oven. She doesn't even turn on the oven. She just goes ahead and does that and pull it out and you get these wonderful, amazing garlic. One of the ways we like to sneak it in is we chop it really, really fine so that they never even know it's there. But this gives it a nice little grown-up taste. Garlic is so good for you. It has so many wonderful healing properties. But when you roast it, it makes it sweeter and also milder. So kids are more likely to like it. Throw that in there. I'm going to check the salt. Since my chicken stock already had salt, it might not need any. It needs a little tiny bit, and since they're almost done, it's okay to add it. Don't do this step till the very end. I like to choose lentils because compared to other types of dried beans, lentils are relatively quick and easy to prepare. They readily absorb a variety of wonderful flavors from other foods and seasonings. Lentils are an excellent source of fiber, and they cook in just 45 minutes. Looks like ours are done. Mmm. A little parsley on top or cilantro. This is a recipe that the whole family can enjoy. I'm Chef Lala and I hope you enjoyed how to cook lentils in chicken stock and roasted garlic. Mm -hmm.